So I started Sapphire Utilities. I worked for some of the biggest companies in the UK, Balfabetes and Amy Enterprise. And we, we managed to build them a, a very successful wastewater business. So I thought to myself, I could do this better myself. So I approached a client, uh, which at the time was Amy. I worked for Amy and I said I wanted to set up on my own. And they actually backed me. And then I went out and I got finance, got the kit, got the men. And, you know, it was just unbelievable how quick we mobilised and how receptive the client, which was at the time United Utilities. And they were brilliant. They were right behind us because I'd worked with them for over 20 odd years and they knew what they were getting. And, you know, we just, it was a game changer. We invested in some of the best kit. We brought innovation to the market, cameras on back of recyclers, reducing in carbon footprint, reducing in customer contacts, customer visits, and it was a no-brainer to do it. I think the challenges that we faced over the ten, last 10 years were, first of all, really not knowing um, what we had to do to create something from scratch and take it to where it is today. I think funding, getting a reputation into the industry where people are prepared to give us a chance, and then creating something that was different to attract the right people into the organisation. Um, sort of very stock answers, but quite genuinely the, the hardest things we've had to face. But you know, great people have helped us get through it. I think the thing I'm personally most proud of is our people. Um, when I look around the, in the business, when I walk through the office, I see the great things that they're doing. I see the culture, I see the focus. Uh, I generally can't believe that we've got all these great people as part of the Sapphire family. And personally, it's the thing I'm absolutely most proud of. Having great people has created a great culture. And what I'm next most proud of is the work that we do in the communities and societies in which we live and work to support those that need it and the help that they need. Over the last four to five years, we've absolutely demonstrated that we've got the ability to make a difference. That difference comes from our people doing the right thing with the support of the company. Um, so our charitable work, I think wherever it is, you can touch it and feel it, it's very, very real. And it gives me a, a warm feeling and uh, certainly I think it, people enjoy it and it makes a difference. So I think our success in the last 10 years is our people the passion we've got, uh, people care, the innovation, the investment, you know, over 40 odd million pounds worth of investment, which is colossal. You know, it's not known in this industry for somebody to invest in such specialist kit and keep investing in innovation. You know, innovation will change the way we do things in the next 10, 100 years. And without that investment, we would never have got to where we are, have got today, and we won't get to where we need to get to tomorrow. I'd describe the, the culture here as a positive culture. Um, it is people-focused and people-centric. Um, it is about inclusivity, and it's about listening to what our employees are telling us and making the workplace an exciting place to work, uh, as well as a rewarding place to work got a career out of Sapphire whereas before I didn't I had a job and you know this that's the difference between Sapphire and oh for me anyway again maybe not for everybody else but for me it's a, it's it's more of a career driven atmosphere learning constantly you know and, you, and you're doing new things every day and stuff like that so yeah it's, it's a good company. I feel valued by the company I've progressed from what I started here as um, and I'm now a manager of the department that I worked in from the start so my obviously hard work's been noticed and been rewarded so I do feel very valued yeah. So Sapphire's 10, who would have thought a small startup company based in Chatterton Oldham Works in 2013 would have grown so big? There's never been a dull moment as part of the back office we've always tried to catch up with ops. We've done it, we've got there and I'm proud to be part of it albeit a small part but it's been a great effort from everybody. Yeah, I enjoy working with everyone here at Sapphire. It's a real family vibe in the office, and uh, I'm just thankful that I'm working for a company that's so passionate about helping the community. I've been with Sapphire for nearly nine years, and when I first started, I was fresh from college, and the company has believed in me from the beginning. They've promoted me to the position that I'm in now, and I'm grateful for that. 
My hopes for the next 10 years are that the business meets its full potential. Whether that's from a business point of view, renewing contracts, building our place in the marketplace, or whether it's for our people, I look at the people who have joined the business at all stages of their careers, and my hope and ambition for them is that they push on to achieve what they want, what they need. Because if our people are successful, our business will be successful. And I hope in years to come that people look back with fond memories and we are a key player still in the marketplace. So looking forward to the next 10 years, it's really important that we don't lose our passion as a company. Individuals make a difference. And that, you know, we drive not only for the next 10 years, but the next 50, 100 years in bringing innovative innovations to the top of our arts and remembering clients want something different. And if we can do that, and I believe we can, with the people we've got and the investment we've made, there's no stopping us where we can get to.